if you are into spiritual things, rituals, the stars, the moon, any of that sort of stuff, you are going to want to see this really cool subscription box that I am about to share with you in this video. Hey friends, welcome back to Sparkle and Grow. It is 2020. Oh my goodness. I have had a little bit of, I'm going to call it video block, writer's block. It's like writer's block, but it's for YouTube, I don't know. But it's been a little bit since I posted a video. I feel like I've just had kind of a, a little bit of a slump. So I am really excited for 2020 because I'm ready to get caught up, get going. I have so many videos to share with you guys, a whole ton of subscription boxes, products to share, beauty products to share. Um, all sorts of fun stuff. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel because there is a lot coming at you in January on my channel because I am essentially doing December and January all in one month. But I'm really excited to do so. I feel so much more refreshed. I did. I took a couple weeks off and I feel like I'm ready to get going again. So I'm really excited to kind of launch 2020 with some subscription boxes to share with you to kind of help your months be more energized in whatever area works best for you. I am going to be sharing some beauty stuff. I'm going to be sharing some jewelry boxes. I'm going to be sharing some hair products, some makeup products. There is a ton of stuff coming up. So definitely hit that bell if you want to be notified as things come up so you kind of know when and how and what it is that they are going to be in your email box. Oh my gosh, I gotta bring my mind back. So in this video today, I have for you guys a really exciting box. It's a little bit different. That is all about spirituality and astrology, a little bit of witchiness. It's pretty cool, it's pretty exciting. If you guys know me, I'm pretty into all of the signs and I love tarot cards, crystals, all of that stuff. So I'm pretty excited to open this box. It is called Spiral Rain. It's out of Canada, but they do deliver to both Canada and the United States. I am here in Oregon, so I received my box here in the US from Canada. Um, I think there is a couple different box options, I believe. They sent me their wellness box. There's also a witchy box if you're more into the rituals, although this has lots of rituals at, in it as well. So it's kind of more if you're into kind of more of that like rest and relaxation thing, which you guys know I'm all about, or if you guys are more into the casting spells stuff. So when I open it up, it says a little sparkle to align with the universe. Open in a quiet space, meditate, relax, and find the magic within. How cool is that? I did cheat a little bit and open up this envelope as I peeked at it because there is some really cool information that is incredibly valuable that comes with this box. Now there's a note here that talks about the candles. It says our candles are made with a touch of magic and lots of love. Hmm. We do not use fragrances, dyes, or toxic chemical stabilizers in our wax. All right, so there's more information about candles. I'm not gonna read all the details on the candles, but that is very cool to know that the, all their candles are very safe and you should also maybe watch it so you don't light anything on fire if there's herbs in the candles. But this is what I thought was really cool was this printout that you get with it. And like I said, this is December's box. So apologies that I'm a little bit behind, but I really thought it was great how the very first page kind of goes through the moon cycles and things that will be happening so that you kind of know what's ahead of you, what to expect in the stars and astrology. Also, what sort of rituals you should maybe be doing this month. So I really liked that in the sense that I love following astrology and I watch lots of YouTubers that talk about it, but I don't necessarily 
practice a lot of the stuff myself so it's cool to be able to see maybe what I should be practicing when and why with this sort of layout for me each month in this box so I really liked that part of it it talks a bit, bit about the full moon that happened on December 12th as well as the new moon that happened December 26th and different part, things about Capricorn, which the moon went into Capricorn in December, at the end of December there. It also tells us a little bit about moon magic, what it is, um, some more, some Celtic information, some lots of different types of information, traditions, symbols. This talks about the Yule, but it's incredibly interesting. It talks about the ingredients I believe that are in this box and how to use it. It talks about the spirituality diffuser oil. So I'm thinking all of this, that sort of stuff is about to come in the box. So I'm not going to ruin it by reading all of this stuff, but it's about to come and I'm going to show you right now exactly what comes in the box. So know that if you are not totally up on all of the terms that there is tons of information that comes with all of these great tools in order to help you know how to use them correctly in order to maybe bring spirituality, calmness, manifestation, things like that into your life. So let's see what's in here. So the first thing I see on top is this really nice diffuser. You can light, there's little candles in here so that you can put your tea light candle inside. And then you can put your essential oils and things and part of your rituals, your herbs, all up here to kind of diffuse the energy and the smells and the aromas into the air for whether it's just to smell good or if you are wanting to do rituals that the box supplies. I also see this nice candle. It is a lavender and sage candle. So I'm, ooh, I'm guessing that it's very calming and also cleansing. Sage is great for cleansing a space. I also see when I look at the top of this candle here that there is amethyst right there in the candle. How cool is that? Amethyst is great for helping with intuition, kind of higher knowledge, balance. So a lot of people like amethyst in order to kind of help amplify that that kind of spiritual knowledge that's unspoken that you feel and you just kind of know amethyst is going to help with that and along with the sage i think it'll come across really clean and the lavender of course is very calming so this is a pretty interesting candle to me i think that this will be fun to read a little bit more about okay here it is here it is okay this candle is the perfect tool for all your meditations, yoga sessions, magic rituals, intentions, manifestations, and prayers. From beginner to expert, our candles can be used by anyone as the magic has already been set and it's ready to go when lit. So that's pretty rad. It already comes with the spell cast on this candle. All you need to do is take a quiet moment and hold your candle. Get to feel its energy and let it feel yours. Then the connection will be made. Tell your candle of any other specific intentions you wish to set within it, then light it and wait for magic to happen. It says the lavender is for love, attraction, purification, relaxation, and restful sleep, while the sage removes negative energy, clearing, cleansing. There's vanilla for aphrodisiac, concentration, and stress reducer. Amethyst is in this for intuition, relaxation, and peace. There's also jasmine flowers. Oh, I was wondering what those flowers were kind of right on top. It's jasmine flowers. Um, okay, the jasmine is for love, dreams, and divination, sensuality, luxury, kindness. So that's pretty nice. I like that. Next up in the box, I am seeing a bath bomb. It says unwind on it. I love the beautiful packaging. This says settle in for a soothing soak. Fill the bathtub with desired amount of water at a temperature that is comfortable for you. Unwrap the bath bomb and place in tub. It'll fizzle and bubble. 
Let's see. Do, 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 do. I want to know what's in it. But essential oil and vitamin E. So this, oh, lavender, sea salt, mineral salt, kelp powder. I think this one's part of more the relaxation piece than the spiritual witchy piece. Like I said, I believe that I got the rest and relaxation box. There are two different spiral rain boxes that you're able to choose from. Oh, and I just, since I'm now reading these, I'm gonna just tell you guys that with this, we fill the reservoir with water and add a few drops of the essential oil and then put the tea lights underneath. So that makes sense. So that brings me to the next one. And that is the essential oil that comes in it. I love essential oils. In fact, every summer I try to even make my own because I just, I love the smells. I love how much more natural and just earthy it is. I don't know, maybe that's the Virgo in me that needs things to be more earthy, but I love essential oils. The essential oil that came in this one. Okay, so this essential oil is called Spiral Intent. So I like the idea of intent and creating intentions with the new year, especially. Um, I know this was the December box, but I really think with all of these great in setting intentions is a really great concept for the new year. And I'm definitely going to be using these even though it is January. So this essential oil blend has sage in it, which will help remove negative energy, clearing and cleansing. It also has frankincense. Frankincense is one of my absolute favorites as a boss babe. It provides protection, blessings, spirituality, meditation, purification, and wisdom. It really helps. I believe people use frankincense a lot of times just to gain knowledge and, and just open their minds so that they're able to accept more of that knowledge. All right, it also has Oh my goodness, I can never pronounce this. I see it all the time though. Um, Lapis Lazuli, awareness, inner wisdom, trust. Filled with awareness and wisdom, this stone brings you, oh, there must be, oh, it is. I was gonna say I've seen it, but I swear it was a stone, so I was a little confused. But I can hear inside the essential oil. Ooh, and now that I hold it up to my light, I can see inside of it, there's a little gem in there. And I can never say it. Tell me how to say it in the comments. Tell me how to pronounce this word. I should just go find another YouTuber and see what they say. But Lapis Lazuli, it is for awareness, inner wisdom, trust. Filled with the awareness and wisdom this stone brings, you begin to realize that you already have all the answers you seek within. Working with Lapis Lazuli encourages you to tap into your inner wisdom and trust yourself. That is actually something that I have personally been working on for some time is just trusting yourself. I think a lot of times we think that it's because of this, this, and this. And a lot of times it's just our own conscious and inner voices learning to trust that you will follow through with the promises you make to yourself more than anything. So that's a really cool one to get. I will definitely be using this in my new essential oil diffuser. All right, so, and this is the last thing I see in the box. This is the last quarter moon tea that I was starting to touch on before, not realizing exactly what it was because I hadn't fully gotten into the box yet, but now I can see, I can see what it is. It has this really cute little wooden spoon on the side of the jar. Let me take that off so I can really open this up and see what's inside for you guys. Let's see, all right, moon phases de lune. So that's the French. Tea bath, it says. So it says tea, but then this says tea bath. So I wonder if it is for the bath or you use it like tea. Let's find out. The last quarter moon is a time to unwind and reflect. So that happened in December, but we can still unwind and reflect, right? Starring the fresh aroma of mint and rosemary and the hues of a desert dawn, our waning moon bath tea quiets our bodies and minds after in the intensity of the full moon energy. So there is a full moon every single month. So this will be amazing after any full moon. As we know, full moons can conjure up all sorts of things 
it illuminates all of people's just like secrets and wildness and really brings things to the surface. So I know why they want us to unwind after having like that crazy full moon energy. So this seems pretty interesting to me so far. It's a time to release the Kappa energy that was cultivated as the moon expanded to full. During this time, as we bring the fruits of our labor to completion, we are called to surrender, cleanse, and detoxify. This gently purifying blend encourages us to let go of what no longer serves us. I like that going into the new year and prepares us to journey inward again during the new moon. So this has Himalayan bath salts, peppermint, rosemary, mugwort, cocoa butter shavings, jasmine, and sage. Although I believe as I open this, because I did take a peek, unless it's the Himalayan salt. Oh, I bet this is Himalayan salt, this little, here. Oh, and it has a little tea bag in there. Ah, okay, I'm gonna make a mess. But these are super nice. Okay, I really wanna show this to you, so hold on. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Look how beautiful that is. All of the fresh herbs, you can tell how fresh it was. Um, that was Himalayan pink salt. I thought at first when I looked at it that maybe it was rose quartz because it was very pink, but it is definitely salt. So it's going to be so good and cleansing, not only for your soul, but also for your skin. Sea salt is so good for your skin. If you guys have been following my Instagram at all, you guys know that I am a total beach bum. I love the beach and I can tell the difference because I'm part time at the coast and part time in the city here in Portland that I definitely see a difference in my skin when I've been in the ocean and that my skin feels clear and clean with that sea salt water. It is so purifying and so good for you. And so when I come to Portland, I'm always like adding sea salt to my face and everything else because it's so good for you on so many levels, including spiritual levels. So that is everything that came in this box. I thought it was a really cool, interesting box, especially if you kind of have been following any of the astrology stuff from all of the exciting YouTubers that talk about it nowadays. And so that's definitely something to check out. I will leave in the description of this video all of their information if you want to go check it out. And hopefully this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you thought it was. And thank you for bearing with me as I kind of launch back into the New Year's. I I know that it has been a little bit, so I'm excited that you're here and watching this and that you are still here. So make sure if you haven't to subscribe because I have so many exciting boxes to share with you right now. And I will also be doing a lot about keto this year. I am so excited to be relaunching keto. I've been keto all along, but I have also had kind of a binge through the holidays so I'm ready to kind of reset and revamp and really work on myself internally externally on lots of different levels including spiritually so thank you guys again and I will see you guys in the next video have an amazing January